We hear quite a bit about the decline of the honeybee population, but truly there are other pollinators we need to be concerned about, right Les? That's right. Um, honeybees do a lot of work for us, but they're not our only pollinators. We have a big group of uh, pollinators in the state of Virginia that are native. Honeybees, carpenter bees, mason bees, different kinds of wasps, different kinds of flies, butterflies, bats, and even hummingbirds all play a role. Nice. And yeah. when we're talking about the role, it's not even for their own nourishment, but for ours. Right. One in three bites of food on our table are the result of insect pollination. <laughs> uh, many fruits and vegetables we have and, and that we enjoy and, and nuts we wouldn't have if we didn't have insect pollination. The insects that you mentioned mm -hmm. are some that people try very hard to get out of their garden. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard mindset for people to think that all insects um, are bad. They're not. Many ben insects are very beneficial and we need to promote them. Okay. Well, how? Because I know people might hear that and mm -hmm. think, okay, well, I want to help the environment. I want to protect the pollinators. But how do I get started? Well, in your own garden is the best place, and you don't have to have acres. You can have a small plot. You can have even a patio or a balcony, but you want to plant plants that attract pollinators because that's okay. the food they need to live. Um, and you can come here to the botanical garden. We've got demonstration gardens. They can see where to start. Um, it can be very easy to get, get started. You can have something that's both beneficial and beautiful at the same time. Yeah, we're here at the Pollinator Garden, right. at Norfolk Botanical Garden, and people can ask questions mm -hmm. and take a look at what you have planted here. Any suggestions of what they can start with? Yeah, well, first thing I would start with is put the pesticides away because mm -hmm. if you're gonna spray pesticides, it'll damage both the harmful and the beneficial insects. Well, when people use pesticides, mm -hmm. I know they do so for a reason. They right. want to get rid of mosquitoes or they want to keep the certain bugs from chewing on the petals. What would you say to them? How can they add something to their garden that gives them the result that well, they want? Plant a diversity of plants because that attracts the beneficial insects. It attracts the predator in the insects that will actually eat the ones that we want to get rid of. Yeah. So it's all about diversity in the garden. The more you have, the more you attract, and it all comes into a balance. Okay. Any examples of what they should plant first? Yeah, anything that's native to the state of Virginia that has a, a good flowering uh, in the summer when the pollinators are out and they're hungry, but you can plant things all the way from late winter up until early uh, uh, autumn that attract those insect pollinators. I know you have resources here at the garden for mm -hmm. people who want more information about honeybees and other pollinators. Well, right here in the pollinator garden, we have a little brochure they can read about what to attract and how to attract them to your garden. We also have new this year, live honeybee hives here at the mm -hmm. garden. We have our own. And this Saturday, we have the Virginia Honeybee Festival where they can meet beekeepers, see live hives, taste honey, and talk to people at Pollination Station, learning about the other insects we've talked about. It's all free with garden admission. Nice. And where can people go for more information about all of uh, that? They can just go to our website, NorfolkBotanicalGarden.org. Les, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>